Coming up in this video, we take a close look at the new improved navigation block for WordPress 6.0. Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name's Dave Smith, Gutenberg core team member and full-time WordPress contributor. And in this video, I'm gonna be taking you through all the changes that are coming to the navigation block in WordPress 6.1. So get ready and let's dive in. First up, let's take a quick look at the updates to the UI that are coming in the next release. Currently in WordPress 6.0, managing navigation menus is made quite challenging because the UI for this is contained within the blocks toolbar. This has also caused problems with focus loss for users of assistive technology and isn't the most intuitive experience. With WordPress 6.1, however, this has all been greatly improved. The menu controls have now been moved into the block sidebar, which makes it easy to see which navigation menu is currently active. Similarly, managing your menus is now easier to access via a dedicated link. Relocating items like this has made the block a lot simpler and made it easier to interact with, as well as improving aspects of accessibility such as focus loss. With WordPress 6.1, users will now also be able to pick from two different icons to represent the overlay menu toggle button. This is currently pretty simple, but in the future is expected to be extended to allow custom icons. For now though, this small change affords users some additional control over the display of this important piece of UI. As part of the ongoing efforts to improve design tools across the editor, WordPress 6.1 introduces letter spacing typography support to the navigation block. This finalizes the addition of standardized typography controls to the block and affords the user greater opportunity for creative expression via fine grain control over text. Next up, let's take a look at some of the improvements that have been made to the block's fallback experience. In WordPress 6.0, contributors added a basic fallback experience to the block to ensure that the front of the website always displayed a menu. However, this had two major drawbacks. Firstly, the editor didn't provide the same fallbacks and so the front of the site looked different to the editor. Secondly, the editor didn't have a good initial experience as the block was completely empty. To work around this, many themes, including 2022, chose to include a page list block by default within their navigation block. This provided a better initial experience in the editor, but caused users to be opted out of other features of the block that were designed to improve the theme switching experience. In WordPress 6.1, however, the block's fallback mechanics have been refined and further extended to provide an improved and more consistent experience. Firstly, themes no longer need to include a page list block within their templates. Instead, by default, an empty navigation block on a site without existing navigation menus will now automatically fall back to a page list block within the editor. This experience mirrors that already in place on the front of the site and provides much needed consistency. Once the block is in place, you can either choose to convert the page list to a proper synced navigation menu or create a new navigation menu from scratch. As a result of this change, I now recommend that themes stop including the page list block as a placeholder in the navigation blocks. It's worth noting, however, that this change is fully backwards compatible. Another enhancement to the fallback behavior is that an empty block will now attempt to automatically pick and use the most recent navigation menu in the editor and the front of the site. Previously, the block would only exhibit this auto-picking behavior if there was only a single navigation menu. This change further improves the likelihood that a suitable navigation menu will be carried across correctly upon theme switch. So that's it for my summary of the changes coming to the navigation block in WordPress 6.1. In my opinion, there's been some good progress, but there's lots more to do, including improved responsive controls, better theme switching experiences, and of course, more refinements to the user experience. But I'm curious to hear what you think. Leave a comment below, and I'll be sure to pass on your feedback to the contributors who are working on the block. If you enjoyed this video, then please do hit that like button and be sure to watch my other videos on WordPress 6.0. Subscribe to the channel for future updates on everything WordPress and the block editor. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.